Hey everyone, um, it's been a little less than two weeks since I checked in, um, but we have a busy weekend, so I just wanted to pop in with a little quick update, just to say hi and let you know what's up. Yesterday, I went over to MGH for the last IV infusion of Vincristine for this second cycle of eight of chemotherapy. Um, my blood work, it looked good. Um, you know, there's nothing that they were like concerned about, but my, you know, white and red blood cell counts are the lowest that they've been, you know, which is, I'll feel like a little tired and weak for that. Um, you know, but it's very much what they expect, you know, chemotherapy, you know, wipes out your immune system. Uh, so, you know, it's, much what they expected. Um, they kept with the half dose of the vincristine, um, especially where I've been having like an improvement with um, uh, the numbness I was feeling in my fingertips and stuff and my neurological problems. Um, so we're also going to start um, doing a half dose of my steroids this week and then trying to dose me off those as well, just because, you know, it's tough being on those. They, you know, make me um, you know, get frustrated very easily. They make me hungry all the time. And, you know, I am all swollen up. Um, so if I don't need to be on them, it'll be nice to be off. Last weekend was just so much fun. Um, I did my first ever, uh, Road to Wellness 5k. Um, it's a free event. The BAA partners with a bunch of other local community organizations. Um, they have a visually impaired division. So my friend Kyle was there as well as a few other people. Um, a lot of the Achilles athletes were um, in town. My friend Gavin guided Kyle. Um, I stayed with them and my friend Jason Savino for most of the race and then um, finished by myself. Um, which I had like a 29, 29, which it is a brutal, uh, super hilly course. It's all in Roxbury. Um, it's, it's a really fun time. Uh, I highly suggest anyone checking it out. Pioneers, Black Girls Run, Black Men Run. Um, so many of the local crews were, uh, there to have fun and it was a really great day. Definitely check it out, um, next year. Then on Sunday, MGH had their 5K on the Esplanade, which is a fundraiser for cancer research for the MGH Cancer Center where I get my treatment. So um, last week or so, um, the MGH um, PR people had reached out to me um, to do a patient story about me. Um, so I did like a little Zoom interview. So we'll see what that turns into. God help everyone if I ever got like a billboard or something, you know, I think I'm Naomi Campbell. So uh, get excited for that. Um, the race was super up and hot and humid. Um, prior to the race, I had got there um, nice and early because I needed to pick up my bib and they had so many volunteers. So that was super quick. So I was, you know, stretching out and um, just relaxing beforehand. And a bunch of people um, who had started following my story through me sharing my cancer journey on Instagram, um, came and introduced themselves, which was just so nice. Like, I really love that. And that's really the main reason I share my story on here is, you know, I, I don't think a lot of people see what a cancer journey can look like. And, um, if you're taking part in your health while you're doing it and not, you know, if I'm able to, and I'm super lucky for that. And I also push myself. So I'm having better than expected results. So um, thank you to everyone who came and said hi. Um, I ended up with a, like a 28, 21. So there was definitely some like dads with strollers that were um, blowing by me. So they gave me some motivation to push a little bit. And it was a pretty decent race. Like, I mean, I'm not mad at that kind of time on a double race weekend uh, while I'm on chemo. This weekend, we're heading down to Rhode Island for my cousin Casey's wedding. So I can't wait to see all of the Gardner side of the family. It should be really fun. Um, yeah, so thank you for 
uh, tuning in for my little check-in. Uh, I will keep you posted if anything new or exciting comes up. Um, the next two weeks are just blood work and then an MRI. So, and then we'll be on to cycle three. All right. Have a great weekend. And yeah, that's it. Bye. <laughs>